All right. So in this video today, we're going to talk about division by zero. And it's a horror picture. No! Ah! Don't do it. We'll talk about why here today. Division by zero is a horrible, horrible horror movie. We're going to start by saying why is 6 divided by 3 equal to 2? There are two distinct ways to look at this. One is we know we're breaking six things. Remember, the numeral six is just a representation of six, and we want to break this into groups of three. And if we do that, we have two groups. We can also think of multi or div division as the opposite of multiplication, the inverse. And we know that three times two is six. So what's zero divided by four? Well, we take nothing and we break it into four groups. Four groups of nothing is nothing. Or again, the inverse, zero times four, is zero. And that works fine. What doesn't work fine is four divided by zero. I can't even picture this. We have four things and I want to have zero groups. I can't take four things that is a group and break it into no groups. We're already a group of stuff. So let's think of it the other way. Zero times question has to be four. And the question is, what can I put in here to do this? Can we say 0 times 2? 0 times 10? And again, if you, think of, if you think of repeated addition, which is a side property of multiplication, you could say 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. Oh, wait a minute. Four zeros doesn't make four. How about we add 10 zeros? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 10 zeros still doesn't make four. It just never gets to four. This is where the screaming should happen in the horror picture. No! So 4 divided by 0 can't happen. We call that in math undefined. It just is not a property we can do because it's impossible to do. So maybe we just need to do a quick little bit of practice here. So we make sure we got this. And again, if you pause the video, you can quickly do these four. And we'll check them. And what happens, though, is students get confused between the top two. All right. What's 0 divided by 3? Again. Thinking to myself, the reverse or the inverse of division is multiplication. Three times zero is still zero, so this is zero. But if you take seven divided by zero, that is undefined. Two over one minus one. Again, we know that there are implied parentheses when you have a fraction. One minus one is zero. Anything divided by zero has to be undefined. Here we have 6 minus 6 over 4 minus 3. Again, parentheses are implied in the numerator and the denominator, so we get 0 over 1. Again, can we do this? The answer is sure, we can do this, and that is 0. Again, dividing by 0 is a horror picture. You can't do it. If you can't remember the word undefined, just write no. I mean, it just can't happen. 